What is going on, everybody? Hunter, Hunter, episode 74. I think we have two more, two more episodes left, and then we are completely done with the um, Greed Island arc. Um, a lot of you um, had a couple people on Patreon, messaged me on Twitter, in the YouTube comments, told me to not watch the opening for the next arc, so starting episode 76, and you guys told me don't watch it for 60 episodes. That's a long ass arc. You're talking Naruto flipping Ninja War um, arc type levels there. So um, I'll just bring it up. If most of you agree with that, go ahead and leave it in the comments and let me know to if I should be skipping it between now and like episode whatever. Um, I don't know if you guys said 30 episodes or 60 episodes. Um, either way, it's a long time. Um, but you guys told me it's it's spoilerish and we get introduced to like characters and kind of so just to just avoid it altogether. Um, so I don't remember if you guys told me 30 or 60 episodes. Um, I think the arc is 60. You guys let me know what episode. You guys can agree about it in the comment section. What episode I should, I can start watching the opening again. Um, but yeah, you guys told me definitely don't take a look at it for at least like 30 episodes. So I'll go ahead and skip it. Um, I'll just have to make sure that I pay attention to like when they do their short opening. Like they'll do like 30 seconds of the episode, then the opening, then... Um, I'll just have to really pay attention to make sure we don't accidentally see any of that or anything like that. Um, there's not really much more to discover to discuss here. I don't know if it was spoilerish that you guys, a lot of you guys are like giving me abilities of people and like how Biscuit's true form is her bulked up form and her transmuter ability is when she transmutes down to looking like a little young girl. It's, I don't know if that's kind of spoiler. Sounds like kind of is, um, but maybe it would have been better to like kind of like experience that on screen. But um. Yeah, if you're going to leave anything, just try to keep it not that spoilerish. Um, we saw Kilua with his like shockwaves and his little vibranium yo-yos. and um, It's just gone left, and I think he'll wrap that up, and then we'll have whoever ends up winning will win the the game. And I wonder if we get clues to Ging from this or how it goes. But yeah, we are two seconds in. Pressing play on episode 74 right now. I also played with some things. Um, I'll let this opening go. Okay, cool. Here comes the opening. I actually played with some settings with in my computer and with my mic and inside OBS to get rid of that like white noise buzzing sound. Um, so like when I go quiet, like right here, I'll go quiet for like five seconds. It should hopefully not have any kind of like buzzing sound or kind of like white noise sound when I go silent. Um, that was another big reason like I wanted a new mic and new headset because you get that a lot with the webcam. And the webcam can't really cancel out like a fan or air conditioning or anything like that. So I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping with the settings I tinkered with and I kind of mess with some noise suppression and white noise cancellation and kind of all this stuff inside OBS. Um, that is, you guys don't hear that, and you guys told me to turn up the mic volume, so I turned it up here. I'll turn it up even more when I edit it in Sony Vegas, um, and you guys let me know if the audio levels sound well, if you're hearing any white noise. I'll go quiet again here for a little bit, and so I'll be able to hear it when I edit it and see if it's making any noise. Yeah, so right there, and hopefully we're not getting any more spill volume. How we could lightly hear the episode. Victor and Loser is the title of the episode. I was getting copyright claims there for the code Geos because the, for some reason I was getting audio in my, I don't know, I don't know how, when this is like closed backed. I don't know. But hopefully no more white noise, no more audio leaking through, and uh, we're good to go. He touched him. Now he's marked, correct? Oh shit. Oh, Gio that. That 
That's true. I wonder if Gon pushes through this, or does he get saved? Like, what was their plan? We never ended up seeing their plan. Makes sense, so he doesn't explode himself. So he should be able to sense that, yeah. So you can tell when it's going to be an explosion and when it's not. It won't be as strong. Yeah. Okay. Okay, quick little flashback there and we're right back in it. Okay, well, we know now. Uh -huh. I like this, um, this color of the ore. I don't think we've seen this yet. I still can't tell if like Gon's really like having an internal struggle right there. Like, or if he's just buying time, hoping their plan works. Like Biscuit in her fight had a plan work flawlessly. Same thing with uh, Kilua. I can't tell if Gon's being really pushed here or and also, we've never seen Gone like, afraid. Getting beat up by Hanzo. Getting beat up by Canary. Like, the, the last time we've seen him with fear was the couple times he ran into Hisoka and when they ran into the, um... He ran into the, um... The Zoldok family beast or whatever. But when he's facing opponents, like, we never really see him, like, scared. Is it possible to be strong enough to have enough Gyo to just protect your entire body instead of putting different percentages places? There's got to be people that have it that mastered, right? Instead of leaving the rest of my body exposed, like protecting my arm and leaving my stomach like he did. What the fuck? How did he, sur how did he like not... What the hell? We just put this man in again, Jutsu? What was that? What the fuck happened to this man? He didn't make contact, did he?
we just sacrifice a hand to Anakin's uh, flipping? Okay, I didn't see the legs part. But is it possible to be in balance enough just to have it? Um. Are we gonna talk about my man missing a hand here, or what? Oh, fuck. Um, like Netero, you guys talk about him all the time, and Gang. Could I be such a skilled Nen user that I don't even need? To sacrifice the rest of my body to put a hundred in my arm to block a hit. Could I be that skilled? to where I could just have it evenly 100% across my whole body, or is that just, like, not possible? I feel like it is. Somebody out there has to have that. So how do we, like... Like, there's no Hashirama cells. How do we put a hand back on? I'm gonna call people to him. My man's missing a hand. What? I was to say, he's not going to give up. Don't go look at that. Don't do it. You dumb. <sighs> Jesus. You have to verbally call out book? Oil. You got some fight flame for that? Or he'll explode his whole self. Gasoline. If he explodes, he'll fucking blow up. Which he's touched him multiple times. All right, well, you better touch him. Oh, his activate, he has to tell them about it before he can do it. Can have enough flame to set him on fire. That was the plan. They laced that ground with something. I don't get the play there to take both of them down. I mean, neither of them can get out. Holy sh... You better watch out before he touches you. Oh god. That was a mistake. I thought we crushed windpipes here. More oil or gasoline. Holy sh And 
he can't blow it up, or he'll blow. Yo, who dug that shit? Is he holding that? No, he got out to where he went. There's no escaping. He's going to blow. Did he really kill him? Gon hasn't killed anybody yet. I wondered when his first, like, his first murder or kill was going to come. Is he killed? Did he kill him is the question. I don't know. He had to let out that hollow there one time. Which brings me back to the main fact. Are we going to talk about this man's hand? He didn't kill him. Oh, shit. music. Stop it. We're just giving it. Shut the fuck up. We're not about to just give this man his hand back, are we? I really wanted to see him go the rest of the anime with no fucking hand. That was too easy, no? Oh, I wanted to see how he had just, how he went through the rest of this with one fluff in hand. Or if there was anybody out there that, that they could find to nen him a hand or, you know, anything like that. Holy shit. But Kilua's was a job. They did it just to do it.
I'm gonna say Kilua's aren't life. He'll heal. Gone wasn't gonna grow a new hand by himself. One of you's got to finish this game. Oh, they're going to let them win. To give up on the game. Wow. Really? Just like that, we're healed. No consequences out here. We're going to talk about that after the end of this episode. Four billion. Uh, jeez, my man over here with the best Nen ability I've seen up to date on the show and is generous. What a pal. What a pal. What's the condition? Well, they're going to be the first, right? They have all the cards. What's the card? Who has it? Where can we get it? Episode's going to end. Bluff. We do have one episode left of the arc. Isoka, who's contacting them? They're gonna let somebody know one player's. That's a pretty dope announcement. Quiz. Okay. We'll receive the card that that player needs. Dang, are we ever gonna follow up on that? Uh oh, someone's on your neck. Uh oh. Who the fuck are you? That's the episode. All right, that ends up being it. There's some somebody left a comment that I wanted to read on my video real quick. Um, everything in the game is a real Nen created objects. They're holding real cards. Have a set of Nen rules. Is there anything else like other inside tape? Da 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 da. And they can only do it limited by person. Hmm, so I wonder... Like, so you, I mean, you guys have been telling me they can, anything can be, any item can be taken out of the game. Could I take that Breath of Angel or Archangel or whatever we're calling it into the real world and use that for myself in a situation like I happen to lose a hand or an arm? Um, I don't know, I've been trying to like not dive too deep into understanding the cards but also trying to understand them but I have a feeling it's like it's pointless for me to ask these questions with the one episode left because I feel like the cards and whatever we take out of the game it's not going to like be used in the story the rest of the way down the line I don't see gone being the final battle of the story pulling out that card that can be used in the real world and that ends up like saving his life or something like that so I'm just going to not even try to understand it um I'm just a really big point from this episode um, is kind of, I mean, given, so, like, we never even really saw, like, their plan there, like, got explained to it. Was that their plan, was to trap him in that hole and drop the gasoline on him so he couldn't activate his, um, little flower ability and pretty much 
pretty much capture him in the rest. I don't know if that was the plan. I don't know if we're going to kind of get explained, but they kind of like walked us through it there a little bit. Um, but I wonder if Gon was that reckless because he knew the plan and knew that he could, if my leg got blown off, if be healed, if I lost an arm, be given a new hand. Um, or was he that selfish and that reckless? Um, because we've seen him be very selfish and very reckless. Um, he's like the closest main character I know behind like Goku <laughs> that I've watched up to this point where like, um, and I'm, and I say that with Dragon Ball all the time. Dragon Ball is one of my favorites and a lot of people's favorites, but the, the sense of fear and danger and consequence is like never there because everything can be wished back to, or everybody can be brought back to life. So it's like, oh no, he died or she got blown away in the next reboot, whatever they name it, so-and-so gets brought back to life or a couple episodes down the line. So it's hard to like really, like Dragon Ball is just something you watch. It's not something that like pulls at the heart, you know, because there's no consequences. So I'm interested to see when Gon gets to that point, there's going to be a tipping point there of two main things. When does he, does his actions deal consequences? Because, like, right there, say that man loses a hand and, like, it's really gone. Like, he's not getting that thing back. Now, maybe in this next arc, in 20, 30 episodes from now, they hunt somebody down that has a Nen ability that can heal or grow back body parts. We've already seen the girl with the Nen stitching. Um, that helped Hisoka out in the Heavens Arena. Maybe they find... I mean, I'm sure there is. Um, I'm, I wanna, I'd want almost be positive that there is. That somebody has an inability that could regrow limbs or heal broken things or etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So maybe they would have seeked that out and gone and gets his hand back or his arm back. But that's like another thing. Like I don't know if that was part of the plan because he knew that they could be healed back t from whatever injuries... Or was he really acting that recklessly? And when it happened in the moment, internally, he's like, fuck it, I lost a hand, but I'm still going to carry out the plan. Um, so I want to see Gon have to like face his consequences of this of the bullheaded decisions that he makes. Like, again, was that part of the plan? Was he always knew that he could get healed, regardless of what happened? Um, were they planning to come back him up at any point? Um, that, I don't know. I don't know if it's even worth diving into deep, like, why did they not come help with backup or whatever? Maybe they're so far separated, dealing with their own thing, X, Y, Z. Um, and then the other big question I have dealing with Gon is he hasn't, at least I think up to this point, he hasn't killed anybody yet. Um, nobody in Heaven's Arena, nobody here on Greed Island. He didn't kill anybody during the Hunter exam. His test with the inmates was blowing out that candle. Um, so I'm real interested to see when Gon hits that tipping point of like, do I kill? Can I get out of this without killing? Do I try to talk or reason with them? Is the only way to get out of this to kill? Is it the right decision? Is it wrong? And then see him like do it for whether that's for to protect himself for the sake of his friends to maybe get to his dad maybe it has to be his dad um for what reason that would be i don't know um and then i'm interested to see kind of i wonder like like i don't know if it's going to be holding hands skipping down the yellow brick road with Kilua and gone all the time like we haven't seen anything that's really like drove a wedge in between them um, they'll argue and have their, like, funny, like, animated things go on that they do. Kilua makes the cat faces and they hit each other on the head playing rock, paper, like, all that stuff. But we haven't seen them, like, really had a wedge drove between them. So I wonder if it comes to a point where, like, they're in a situation and Kilua thinks the right decision to do or the only decision is to kill this person or this group or whatever. Like, in the moment. There's no time to, like, talk about it and then let's do it and see what happens. Like, they're there in a moment. They've got to fight for it. Kilua thinks they should kill. Gon thinks they shouldn't. And Kilua goes for it. Maybe Gon stops him. Like, I'm interested to see if Gon and Kilua ever end up having a splitting off or something that really tests their, their friendship. Or are they always going to be buddy-buddy, like, skipping 
it's always going to be all right type things. Those are kind of the things I want to see here because we're halfway through here. I'm on episode, so the next episode we watch is 75. There's 148 total episodes, I think. Um, so let me see exactly where we are here. Are we halfway with Hunter Hunter? 148 divided by 2? Yeah, I'm exactly halfway. We're at the exact halfway point. And I think those are kind of the three or four biggest questions I have leading into the second half and leading into what a lot of you have told me and a lot of people say and I see the greatest arc of this anime and yo people have said it <laughs> people have said it in my comment sections before we started this arc is the greatest arc in anime history there's a lot of animes out there I haven't seen them all you guys watching have probably seen more than me I've seen Dragon Ball Tokyo Ghoul Hunter Hunter Attack on Titan watching Code Geass right now, um, My Hero, and I'm sure there's others out, like I haven't watched One Piece or Death Note or uh, Bleach or anything like that, um, but to say it's the greatest arc in anime history, that's a bold statement, <laughs> and I'm interested to see, I'm, I'm interested to see it, show me, um, and a couple of you told me, like, really, like, calm it down with like my expectations and the hype like a lot of you have said granted yes it's great and you think it's the best arc in any anime um and it's the best of the entire show but a lot of you told me like calm it down because it's not for everybody and just like and with anything if this arc is like you guys told me 60 episodes long um yeah you guys told me it's, this is from a comment on the last video um it's 60 episodes long there are stretches with poor pacing um overbearing narratives that they just beat the dead horse of it beat it like a dead horse with the narratives um a lot of uninter uninteresting characters are focused on they're always cutting away from fight scenes um but i mean anything that stretches 60 episodes is going to have its flaws so i'm not expecting it to be perfect but i'm expecting this to be some good shit the way it's been built up and people say hunter hunter's the greatest anime and all this stuff i'm expecting it to be great i'm enjoying the the anime right now i think it's good um do you ever think it's great um I can't really compare it to X, Y, and Z because the story's not finished. Um, but it's good. I'm definitely enjoying it. Like, I look forward to, like, sitting down for the next episode and watching it. Um, I'm expecting some good stuff. And I will say that fight right there... Um, I don't know if it's the best fight of the anime that I've seen up to episode 74, but, like, the hand-to-hand -hand and kind of the effects and the moves that we saw were some of the best we've seen that might be a top three top five fight i've seen up till this point um of course you got to put the corollo and the zoldox up there um us getting introduced to uvo's abilities even though it was more of a slaughter um so you got the uvo the um a couple a fight there with hisoka in the heavens arena um yeah they're all up there but that was definitely one of the better ones i was watching that. i was like wow this is we're getting some good like good shots here so that's it it's been a 35 minute video you guys will get this on monday um this i'm reacting to this on friday the same day that episode 73 went up so i'll have monday ready for you guys um code geos will be up on youtube i mean not youtube uh patreon i'm gonna start slowly trickling those out onto youtube here in the next week or two um we let code geos get a good like 10 or 15 episodes ahead before we start a uh, doing that and we'll start um we'll start doing some things here guys i'm gonna do some stuff on patreon doing like um some live q and a's whether we do that on twitch or we do a youtube stream we'll just kind of see what we want to do with that um and we'll go from there so good little discussion there a little, little longer than usual but hopefully you guys stuck around let me know if you stuck around and answer any of those questions that aren't spoilerish um and we'll go from there so like share favorite subscribe guys see y'all back on hunter hunter on wednesday kogi um kogi as patreon i'll see y'all on tuesday <sighs> and as always, 